Hello everybody, Keith Hershey here. You can be loved today. I'll tell you what, that's really the good news in the midst of bad news. God's word to you and me is simply to receive the love of the Father in such a way that it can change everything. And one thing it can change is your perspective. You know, sometimes our perspective is, uh, is warped because we don't include, really, the gospel. We don't include the love of God in Christ in the mix of what we're seeing. And so we get so disappointed with everything from the natural realm. That's why I think Jesus said, you know, people's lives get so filled with stress and so full of trouble. And, and uh, Jesus said, let, let not your heart be troubled. And he talks about peace I, I, I leave with you. Not, not as the world gives a peace, but a, but a different kind of heavenly commodity. You know, when Jesus talks about peace I give to you, he's not talking about just some emotional uh, feeling to get you through a, a hard time. He, he uses the term shalom in the Hebrew language. He, he would use shalom, which, which is an all-encompassing, really a rich word. In fact, one of the uh, Greek lexicons and Hebrew lexicons I was looking at uh, says the, the shalom of God, the peace of God is a completeness. It's a safety. It's a soundness. It's, 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 it's health. It's prosperity. It's, it's tranquility. It's, it's contentment. How, how many people today have no contentment? There's a peace that God gives that you can experience in human relationships, in, in your family relationships, in your work relationships. It's a peace that comes from God which overrides and overrules everything that seems to be wrong. Jesus said, peace, I leave with you. Peace, I give to you. And, and it's, not, it's not a worldly peace. It's not what the world tries to, 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 to dish out. It's, it's a peace that the Father gives you in Christ Jesus, simply because you're his beloved one. Friend, I want you to have the peace of God throughout this whole new year. Don't let your life be stressed out with everything that seems to be wrong. I tell you, stress has such negative impacts, not just on our attitude, but on our physical health. And so we need to abide in the shalom of God, in the peace of God. So I hope you can find the peace of God and experience what Jesus freely offers you simply because he loves you. Hope you're having a great day. Until next time, you can be assured because of Jesus that God loves you completely, and we do too.